Whoa, boy. That's a face, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pet Genetics Challenge, which is basically us fooling around with science and the random generators in Create a Pet here in Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And we ended up with quite some interesting puppers last time, as you guys may recall. I'm actually very much missing Bronco's father. His dad was quite the creature to behold, and his mother, Precious, was quite precious. She is the one who decided to look like a melted popsicle and uh, gave us this sort of captain hero meets a sphinx meets a greyhound son. This is indeed Bronco the second named after his great grandfather at this point who was an angry ball of polka dots and today we will be descending deep into the random genetics once more and using a random integer generator to roll numbers between 1 and 12 and dive in and just see what we end up with when we give Bronco a mate and we give them some puppies but as part of request we are going to be jumping back over into the kitty cat side of things today many of you guys agreed with me that the dogs give you much more dramatic and comedic results when you breed their random genetics but Maybe only doing three experiments is not a good test group, and we should continue forward with trying out some more cats. So we are going to be giving Pumpkin a lovely mate of her own today, and we are going to see if the cats can possibly look nearly as ridiculous as the dogs. Don't roll your eyes at me like that, Pumpkin. I know the answer is probably not. Even with, even with rainbow whiskers, the answer is probably not. But I know many of you guys enjoy the kitty kitten side of things. So let's go ahead and dive into playing with genetics and we are actually going to have a unknown parent plus an unknown parent and we are going to randomize to the ninth young boy. Uh, hopefully it won't come up as an actual sign. Let's see if that looks anything. Okay, it looks nothing like pumpkin. We should be safe. Okay, so we are going to randomize one time. Oh my gosh, that cat's so beautiful. Twice. Three times. Four. Oh, I could just take all these kitties home. They're so gorgeous. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we are going to be working with this cat base. I don't think there's any way, any way, no matter what we do, we could make this um, very affectionate, very curious, very spoiled cat nearly as silly as Bronco. Just look at that nose. Just, well, try not to look at the nose too much. It looks like you'd fall into it if you stared at him long enough. Oh my goodness. He looks like you could lose a kitten up that nose. Sorry, Bronco. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and give the fourth name to C004, our fourth feline experiment. And the next number is four, which is why we are going to roll one, two, three, four for Patches. So here's Patches. He is going to be Pumpkin's mate. I like that we're going with the P alliteration there. And the first thing we change about the cats is we are actually going to come in and we are going to alter their head, their ears, their nose, all of those good bits. All right, let me go ahead. And there we go. Had to get some fresh numbers. Let's pop over and we are going to alter the head shape. So you guys know the drill by now. I'm going to grab the number. We're going to grab the bits and pieces and put together a delightful little kitty cat. So one, two, three. Okay, we stayed on the same one. We actually didn't skip. It just like chose this head again. Four, five. Okay, so Patches really wanted to have this kind of facial structure. That's fine, Patches. That's your choice in life. Well, I guess it's not your choice. It's the choice of the dice. But let's keep moving. The third set of ears. One, two, three. Very nice. Very nice. I think they're adorable. They kind of remind me of little chocolate chips. You keep it up, Patches, and we're going to have like this beauty line of cats going and then the, the who knows what of dogs. <laughs> All right, and then the sixth the nose. One, two. Oh my gosh. Patches. You look like a little teddy bear. Okay, hang on. Don't don't judge me. Experiment 6.5. I have to save Patches as he is. He's just adorable. There you go. All right, so I had to save Patches as he is because he looks like a little teddy bear with a little heart-shaped nose. And oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, there's two, three, four five six okay so patches is still ridiculously cute basically he wants to win all of the awards for the feline side of our experiments the second set of whiskers one 
too. Okay, still looking normal. Okay, now we're actually looking a little bit more like a mouse, to be completely honest. All right, eyeballs really, you know, you stare into the soul of these experiments when we do this. So let's see what the seventh set of eyes says. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my, okay, you know, still... <laughs> Still pretty on the positive, on the whole, on the positive, you might say. All right, so then we're going to jump over to the body, the seventh body, actually. There's only three to choose from with cats, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, some firm back legs. Now, I'm still kind of feeling the mouse thing, to be completely honest. The third tail, which is basically tail or no tail with our kitty cats. One, two, three. Three. No tail. Patches was like, I don't want a tail. Patches, you're really sending me mixed messages on the whole mouse thing now. All right, we're going to pick a coat pattern. It is going to be the ninth coat pattern, actually, so we get quite the wide variety. Patches, could you please stand on all four paws so that we can see the best angle? <laughs> She's staring at his nose. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I know it's the cutest little nose. I love the outline on it. But anyway, Patches, let's give you nine chances to show off how beautiful your coats could be. One, oh my gosh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Now we have four darker patterns to go through and rotate with uh, different numbers. So let's see, we're doing eight on the first one. One, two, ooh. Kind of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all of a sudden. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my, okay. Jeez, Patches, you're really pretty. <laughs> Patches can do no wrong. Okay, and then we are going to do one pattern change on this coat. Okay, okay. Lightening up the face. Twelve on this one. Ooh, 10, 11, 12, <gasps> what? <gasps> what? <laughs> Patches, why do you still look cool? Everything he does is cool as a cucumber. <laughs> All right, so four, one, oh my gosh. Two, three, four. Okay, now you can't even really see the blue. Now it looks like a mirage. Okay, so this is patches all together. Uh, we just have to change the fur type, of which there is actually a wide variety. No, no, it's quite a hilarious variety as the dogs, but you know what? Maybe the cats will go for like trying to win some beauty shows. Let me know who do you think wins by the end of the episode, you guys? The cats or the dogs for our experiments? So we are going to go, uh, let's see, three times for the fur. One, two, oh dear. Three. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. All right, there is Patches. Experiment 004 for our feline side of things. And I actually think that he and Pumpkin have a chance of making a delightful kitten. So we are going to go ahead and look at seven of their beautiful babies before we find the one that shall be our final. Here's their first son. He's actually really gorgeous. <laughs> Who knew that a light layer, just a simple dusting of blue across your cat's shoulders could bring out such beauty, huh? All right, so one... Oh dear, that jaw! <gasps> what were you hiding in there, pumpkin? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. Okay, so this is their this is their son, the delightful young cat who is going to be taking up the um the mantle of being the feline side of experiments. As I mentioned before, you still end up with beautiful cats, even with rainbow whiskers. So we may not actually be doing the cats as often as the dogs in our experiments, but every now and then it's nice to dabble in something fresh. So let's go ahead and see what this lovely young chap's name is with his eighth name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Speckles. Well, if you say so. All right, then we're going to give him his skills. We are going to do the 12th. One, two, three, six, nine. Doink, playful. And then we are going to do the sixth skill after that. So he is playful and affectionate. Aw, speckles, that's not fair. The more you stack up like that, the more I'm just gonna be like, aren't you just the best cat in the whole world? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's just a playful, affectionate glutton who wants to steal your heart. Look at that. 
that guy. Oh dear. All right. Well, Speckles, you may win the cats versus dogs competition anyway. But all right, guys, now that we have seen what experiment... Oh, and we need to change his name to Experiment 005. Thank you very much. But now that we have seen what the feline side of things had, let's dive in to Bronco. Good old boy Bronco needs to find himself a lovely mate today. So we are actually going to add in a dog. We are going to be popping over to the breed mixer. And then I think somebody was telling me that you have to be really careful because the reason I'm going to see this is just we're not counting for a second because I wanted to see if the breed mixer will always only give me. I think the breed mixer will always only give me large dogs, guys. That could be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> For some reason, it does not select small dogs, but if you filter breeds by dog size, can I do both and then randomize the mix? Come on, give me a small dog. Give me a small dog. Please give small dog. Please, oh, that's a pretty dog. Please give small dog. Small dog. I said small dog. <laughs> filter by small dog. All right, well, I don't know if you ever get a small dog for this, so um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let me do five rolls for this. One, two, three, four, five, and we did end up with a small dog this time. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, I see. Oh, hang on. I got you here. Now you can pick a breed. So what about what is it? That, do we do it like this? Does it does it work now? Oh, now it works. Sweet. Okay. Well, never mind. I think I figured out how to make sure that we actually end up with the doggo that we were actually going for. Um. Okay. Over to breed. Breed mixer. We ended up with a small dog that time. So I'm really hoping that works properly. So we're going to select both of those. There we go. All right. So the fifth dog is going to be the one that shall be Bronco's mate. Thank you so much to those of you who were commenting, helping me try to figure out exactly how to pull up both the large and small dogs in our mystery dog mixes. So one, two, three, four. Now it's all small dogs. I feel like we broke something. Oh, well, five. Oh, dear. Okay, Bronco. It looks like this is going to be the lovely lady for you. Um, actually, let me... One, two, three, four, five. Now I broke it so it only does small dogs. I don't understand. All right, we'll worry about that later. Back, 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 back. Where's the, where's the lady that we had for Bronco? There she is. All right, so this is her in all of her glory. She looks quite lovely. Let's go ahead and figure out what her name is. And then hopefully I can figure out what the heck the small dog, big dog thing does. And if I have to roll before we pick the breed, uh, like the mixed breed, if it is going to be a big dog or small dog, I will. But I'll play with that because that's kind of, that's interesting and weird. All right, so a loyal glutton who is clever. Her name is going to be, let's see, she's experiment 01414, and her name is going to be the fourth name. One, two, three, four. Wait, fish? Ahem. One, two, three, four. Monica, there we go. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, Monica, let's go ahead and let's start shifting her up a little bit, my friends. She is going to have the third head shape. You guys know the drill by now. Uh, okay, oh, she said such a relief. The second head had me really worrying about things for a second there. And then we are going to go for the sixth set of ears. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, Monica, look at you. Oh my gosh. We're about to get to the eyes though, and that can always make things really interesting. The second nose. Good, good. Looking good, Monica. Seventh set of eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my. Monica. She looks like she's hiding some secrets and those eyes go very well with her smart ability or her little smart trait. Okay. So now we have finished up with the details around the face. Let's jump over to the details of the body. Shall she be beefy or slim? We are about to find out with the seventh choice. And seven. Oh my. So she's going to have a lot of fur. She's going to be able to powerhouse her way through whatever she wants. And let's see what kind of tail she gets. This is getting interesting. I feel a sense of foreboding. There's a disturbance in the force. I'm beginning to get some, some ancient Bronco vibes coming back to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and she has this teeny 
a little tail that just kind of twirls in the back there. Oh, that's so cute. And then if you guys ever think that I skipped one, I am hitting the dice every time. Just sometimes it selects the exact same tail, so it doesn't move. So don't panic. I did not miss any. All right, so this is where things get really interesting. The third for a pattern shall be what we pick. One, two, three. Oh my, Monica! Look at how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. Let's see if she's just going to like start classing the place up by looking like a normal dog <laughs> with the ninth fur color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, I hope, I held out hope. I believed in her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why the dogs are so hilarious to breed. <laughs> Monica, you look like you stepped right out of a Lisa Frank sticker sheet. I love it. <laughs> you, oh my gosh, she even looks like she has like lipstick or something on. Let's go ahead and see what her fur is going to be. I just, I can't even look at her. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm taking all these pictures of this dog. This is hilarious. Okay, the ninth fur pattern is actually going to be what we pick. One, two, oh my god, that's actually really cute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> There's something so surreal, it's almost believable that somebody would do this to their dog, don't you think? Don't you think? But I love it. She's brought in an atmosphere of cupcakes. I'm getting these vibes of creativity, of really, really rich women who are buying really, really, really expensive makeup to put on their tiny poodles inside of their expensive designer little doggy bags they carry around. That's the kind of vibe I get off Monica. She looks like the kind of dog that I would expect to see in a very eccentric, very rich person's house. So that being said, I don't think there's any, I don't know how viable a normal outcome there is when we mix together Bronco and Monica, but we're going to give it a good go, guys. It is time we actually get to look at all 12 of their puppies to see what the final result would be for their little girl. So, oh my gosh. If you guys are ready, please join me for daughter number one. Uh, two. Okay, three. Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> no. Four. Four. Oh, 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 my, oh my goodness, this whole family is golden. I love all of you. Five. Oh, you too. I love you as well. Six. This is just amazing. This is beautiful. Seven. Eight. Uh, nine. Ten. Eleven. Uh-oh, we're looking kind of normal. Come on, bring back the Lisa Frank for me on twelve. Oh my gosh. Well, we got something. We didn't get Lisa Frank. But we got something, all right. She's beautiful. Hello. Welcome, my young gremlin. <laughs> she is a clever, adventurous troublemaker whose code is DOG015, the 15th of our doggy experiments, in which case a reputable institute should probably yank my funding. And we are going to go ahead and give her the ninth name that pops up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, Harley. Welcome, Harley, to the family of experiments. Thank you. Thank you for, for making me wonder if I accidentally mixed in some gorilla jeans somewhere inside. I don't look so surprised. It's not exactly an insult, you know, to the, the, the beaker. But there we go, guys. So, Bronco and Monica had Harley. And she's going to have some puppies next time we come back. I hope you guys will be excited to join me. And I hope you guys can agree with me. The cats, it just doesn't seem what you do to them. They're all just amazing. Or maybe, maybe my feline bias is showing. But I don't know. Do you really want this popping out at you in the middle of the night? Do you? 
Don't worry, Harley. We'll make sure that you have a good home. Just for that, I'll make sure that you have a good home in one of my LPs. I promise. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.